Good morning. It's Monday morning, and I hope you're safe and well. I saw something yesterday that I don't recall ever seeing before. I saw 12 people walking through the village. Now, there's nothing at all unusual about that on a Sunday afternoon, but yesterday it was raining. All 12 walked under the shelf shelter of their umbrellas. You gotta, you gotta love it. As of this morning, we are still planning on doing the drive through communion service, although I am in conversation with the police chief and the fire chief to see if they have any concerns about that. If we are able to do that, the communion will be served in these little prepackaged containers, a little white grape juice to shake it up, and um, a wafer. Susan Brown, thanks to Susan Brown, will also be able to give you a palm as it is Palm Sunday. And next Sunday, Palm Sunday, April 5th, was supposed to be Bring a Friend to Church Sunday. Our membership committee had put quite a bit of time and thought into that. And obviously, you won't physically be able to bring your friend to church on Sunday. But it might even work out in our, in our favor because coming to church for the first time can be kind of a frightening experience for lots of people. They're not certain what to expect. And so maybe consider uh, inviting the person you are going to invite to come here to watch our service on Facebook or forward to them the, the email that I'll send out Sunday morning around 9 o'clock or let them know of our church's YouTube uh, channel. Sunday service is going to be beautiful. The music is fabulous and um, I'm just so grateful for everyone who's working hard to make those services possible. Taryn is also working hard um, in our church office to update the directory. So if you have an address change or something you'd like the church to, to, to know about, uh, please don't hesitate to contact her at gccoffice at metrocast.net or call at 524-6057. And then finally, I want to share something that I read this morning. No God can forgive what we do to each other. Only the injured can summon that extraordinary grace. And where such grace is born, we cannot say. For all our fitful genius and miraculous machinery, we use the word God so easily, so casually, as if our label for the incomprehensible meant anything at all. And we forget all too easily that the wriggle of the holy is born only through the stammer and stumble of us, who are always children. So we turn again and again to one another and bow and ask forgiveness and mill whatever mercy we can muster from the muddle of our hearts. Have a wonderful day. Stay safe and be well. And if you need anything, please do not hesitate to contact us here at the church. Thank you. Take care.